Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today is part two of our Magic Mail Mega Haul. Yeah, this is mostly purchases because we had a lot of mail come in. A lot of trades, a lot of purchases. Um, if you tuned in and watched the last video, thank you. Um, if you're back, thank you again. Um, we're, you're welcome for not making this a four hour video. So yeah. To enjoy. So this first one is actually the final trade from our trade of Palooza. Um, and this one is coming from Sam. And I believe Sam may have been from Facebook. Sam, if you were watching, I'm sorry if it was not Facebook and it was Instagram, but hey, we traded and we're excited that we traded with you. And, oh, there's a zap in here that I think you're going to love. First of all, we did get a Disneyland Park map. That's exciting. We've been twice now and love us some Disneyland, y'all. If you have not been to Disneyland and you can get there, try to go, please. It's, it's a different type of magic in a good way. Typically, when we buy spirit jerseys that come in both options, we choose Disneyland because their logo is pretty And now that we've been there, we don't feel bad buying those ones. Yeah, um, posers. Go ahead and grab that for you. Um, I'll let you show that staff in a second. This trade, I had never seen this pin and um, Sam had messaged and was interested in something of ours. And I was like, actually, I love that pin. And check out this Megara and Hercules pin. So here we go for um, a pin that I have never seen actually. And that means it's probably just in the parks right now and not online, but it is her with a statue of Hercules. And I really, really enjoy it. It's really pretty. I know, I, you, I think sometimes their pins just get better and better. And is this, this is a new one? I think that's a, it's a new one. It's a new, I think it's parks only. So, Sam, if you are watching, let us know down below because it might be Disneyland only because sometimes they do exclusives to different um, coasts. Really cute. That's really pretty. And then a zap just for you. Oh, look at it. Well, there's actually two. There's these I, okay. tiny little Mickey Mouse erasers that are so cute. <laughs> I'm just imagining erasing. <laughs> They're so tiny. I could never I know, do Give them to well. a kindergartner. <laughs> Maybe they'll be able to use that. They'll put them. In they the fight over them as well. They're. <laughs> I remember the little ones coming in with things and be like, "Nope, you can't use that because everyone's gonna want that." Yeah, we we give them the material yeah. so they can't bring in their cool stuff that everybody wants. So Sam also threw in this adorable bell. Adorable. Um, she's precious with her golden eyes. I think my my fingernails. Um, she's so cute. Thank you, Sam. And I looked at the envelope and it says Derek and Ryan, so I am absolutely positive this is from Instagram and not from Facebook. So thank you, Sam, if you're watching still. We love her. We all, you so know, cute. I'm not gonna lie, I'm allowing the Dorables to come into the house, but we're just not purchasing them. And we have a cute little container that we're starting to pile them up to in and the, the ones that are not specific specific to all of our collections so that they are almost in like a popcorn thing. Yeah, and so once it's kind of like one of the claw machines. Yeah, so once it's full, it once it's full, we're going to add it to our background. I'm very excited about that. Very cute. Um, I'm actually going to just grab this one right now. This is a really simple one. Y'all, sometimes Amazon has some exclusive pins. And we were sitting on the couch and Ryan was like, look at these pins that just came out. And of course I went, oh, okay. And did like the not even add to cart, but just like buy now. <laughs> he created a monster. He created a monster with my shopping habits. But I had to y'all, when you see this and the fact that it's an Amazon exclusive, look at this. Here we have Vanellope and Ralph, and they are an LE of 500, and they are two separate pins. Vanellope is one, and um, Vanellope is one, and Ralph is the other. I almost said Pete. Pete, you're not in this movie at all. But here we go. Wreck-It Ralph's arm is a slider and has the cookie 
That is the um, You Are My Hero cookie. And technically, I think they're meant to be separated and like give one to your best friend and you keep the other. But they're going together and Ryan doesn't get to steal anything. Next up, uh, we have a purchase from Kraken here. Uh, this pin is actually from Neon Tuesday, which is, I think, partnered with Kraken. Um, they're, I always think their pins are really interesting. There's not a lot of them, but you can find that they've made some, I, I've seen a really cool, I think it was Goofy movie from them. Um, but this pin is really cool. All right, so here we have this Chip and Dale um, being beamed up into a UFO where I belong. I would like to go there to know. Um, it's real cute. It's a pin on pin with Dale being attached. And I'd been eyeing that one for a while, had not purchased it yet. And I blame Disney Crazy Family because they sent me another one that I was eyeing with that one. Um, and so when they sent me the Rescue Rangers pin, I knew I had to get the other one that I wanted of Chip and Dale. So thank you, Disney Crazy Family. Um, this is an Ellie of 300. So that's that is pretty amazing. Cool. We also have this um, Pixar Lounge Fly from Kraken from Onward. And it is Ian and Barley on a crest together. They are super, super cute. Um, I always love seeing what they look like in 2D animation after they've been 3D animated. And this is a pin on pin. Um, there are not very many Onward pins out there. And I think most of you have learned at this point that I like things that people don't. And Ryan makes fun of me all the time for it because I always pick out the things that people are like, no, that one's bad. I'm like, no, it's actually good. I like that one. What do people think is not cool? That's what, what I, I want. Okay, so this next one is actually what I was just talking about. Um, and this is a completer for me, y'all. I am super excited. So I don't know if you know the secret on eBay. Ryan showed me that if you start to just part things that you like, you sometimes get offers. And I tried to send an offer to someone for one of these pins and it was immediately declined because I guess it was below the amount that they would ever want to accept an offer. Well, this person sent me the, it was a different person, sent me the price that I tried to get from the other person. And I immediately was like, yeah, yep, I am taking it. And y'all may have guessed it, here it is. It is the final of the Disney Studio Store Hollywood Strange World pins. So here we have what looks like their movie poster. It says, let's go make history. And it does have all of all three generations of the clade men, as well as splat here as a pin on pin. And because this is a completer, I am going to pull it right off the board and show you real quick all of these amazing strange all of these amazing strange world pins sorry while i do that will you show off heather and diane's amazing card so we highly recommend you go check them out um heather and diane at heather feather pins um that card's really cute it looks like they does it say they have an etsy shop as well eBay. Or it's just eBay. Instagram and eBay. Because I I got this from eBay. So, you guys, this also includes two other pins that were not from the um, Disney Studio Store Hollywood, but it's just my complete collection of these. So, y'all, look at all of these together. Um, my very first and only El Capitan Marquis. We have the Clade straight across. We've got Searcher and Ethan and Meridian. We have the Lightning Lynxes, which we discovered is the team that Meridian played for, um, not Roller Derby, Air Derby. Air Derby. And the newest, the movie poster here. I also have this splat down here, and then the Disney limited release one that they released in the parks, which is pretty similar to the movie poster, but different as well. I think I may have every single Strange World pen that they have created. I need to go look that up. Definitely all the Disney Studios or Hollywood ones. And thank you to everyone who made my life easier in collecting all of these. I love you all so much. Thank you.
What he means is, thank you, Disney St- Studio Store Hollywood, for those mystery bags you sent out that nobody liked. Because I did! All right, the next thing we have here is a uh, box that we received from Two Tiny Wings. Uh, they actually hosted a live sale two weeks ago. It was two, about two weeks ago, and they, I want to say they do it monthly. They do. Um, yes. Dear the boys, thank you for joining our live sale. We hope these pins make great additions to your collections. Love, Pete and Carly. I'm gonna get a new card. Thank you from Two Tiny Wings. I love That's the card, cute. guys. Yeah, the colors are pretty. Y'all have the best colors. They are so cute. It's beautiful. So during their live sale, they had some exclusive candles that they released. They had this one. This is called Honeysuckle. I can't remember what the other one was called, but they both sounded really good. I just am obsessed. They were springtime. Smells like our backyard. Oh my, that, that is straight up a true honeysuckle scent. Oh, it's so pretty too. Oh, y'all, new camera, new lights, who dis? You can actually see the sparkle in the actual real colors of them. Yeah, that's really pretty. I mean, it's so light. Um, it's a nice light scent, and it is, like, straight up. It reminds me of my childhood. We used to run around. We had all those bushes everywhere, and we would do that thing where you pull out the stamen, and you eat the whatever goop is on the inside that is actually flower juices. We but that it was delicious. We definitely did that. Um, all right, so we purchased several pins. We also, um, I'm really excited about some of these pins. I think this is the this is probably the biggest purchase from the pin nights because they just had some really good pins. What I will tell you about these live sales, um, there's we're obsessed with them because we're friends with them and they're great. Live sales actually tend to stress us out because the the uh, fight or flight mode that kicks in when you like something goes up and you just feel like you have to order it because people are. Um, jumping in and it's so fast, it's very and stressful. some of these were reactory. If yeah. like it was like, oh it, my god, we had a lot of fun at theirs because they're our friends. In uh, with a lot of strangers in these giant live sales, they stress us. Yes, out. and this first one, um, is just so so perfect. Look at Isma, y'all. There she is in all of her glory. This is one of the newer Parks pins, and I just. Anytime I can get my hands on Yzma, I gotta get her. Um, this next one here is from a set that I did not want to buy the box for because I only wanted this pin from it and it just happened to be on one of their pin boards, so the stars aligned. And we have here today this Percy here from the po um, he's from Pocahontas. This set is just dog houses. Um, he is one of my favorite and one of the few Disney dogs I just love. Also Georgette. I was about to say, that is your second dog house because yeah. the other one is the Georgette Chase. That's not from this set though. Oh, is that not from that one? No. Oh, okay. No. Those okay. are very different. Those are much bigger. This one is pretty new. It just came out like in the past couple months. Oh! Um, Shows you what I know. Yeah. I'm really up to date with the dog house pins. Um, but I love Percy. I'm very excited to add him to my book. I'm oh. putting you in the dog house. So. Probably let me keep the air at a lower temperature in there. We have this gorgeous Alice pin, and I still say that my favorite thing about this entire set is that they are glittery, every single one of them. And if everything could be glittery, I would do it. And that set is so beautiful. I have several favorites. I actually, I know like this three of them are my favorite. I would say, I would say almost, I love almost all of them. I do love all of the them. The only one I don't really connect to is the blue fairy. Um, but it's her glitter it's is so beautiful. light that it doesn't stick yeah. like the other ones. So here we go. Ryan, who do we have here? We have Tinkerbell up there in the top. Next to her, we've got the Blue Fairy and then Maid Marian. Um, just beneath Maid Marian, we've got the new Alice we just added. Um, next to her, we've got Lilo. I love that Lilo. I do too. You never glitter. see that. That red glitter is so pretty. And then we have Meg. My favorite three are actually Maid Mary and Lilo. And I think that green glitter in Tinkerbell is so pretty. Um, if you watched our part one, you know that we just got Meg from The Amazing Pam over at Coco for Disney. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I also, I'm not a Tinkerbell fan, but that Tinkerbell pin. It's that green glitter. Is the glean, the glean glitter. The gleam the of glean, the green glitter. The, the green glitter is perfect. And the Alice dress, I love. The Lilo, I just, all of them have such a thing. But I think 
we're not done with this set because I think there are two that we need to reacquire as well. I feel like you probably want an Alice in your board and I want, I already announced, I want a Meg in my board. And so... I might want another one of those Lilo's too. Lilo is... So, y'all, we're not done here. If we find more boxes, we will. But also, we're, we're looking for these three at the bottom. Yeah. So if you happen to have extras. Always. Um, this next one here is a pin that... We purchased this one. Yeah, we had purchased this because we bought, bought so too mystery. many boxes. Never opened this baby, but gosh, I wish that we did because it's so pretty. We have here the Daisy Popsicle. Um, she's got that pink bow up top. She is blue and white. Daisy, my favorite thing about Daisy is the color palette that she is. Say, her color scheme or color palette is always on point. I really enjoy the gold details on these popsicles. I think they're really, really pretty. They, it, they're super cartoony and just... I liked cute. the Mickey one a lot, but it just... The Fabs or the Sensational Six with Daisy, we don't really collect them. We collect Daisy. Or Ryan collects Daisy. So the rest, we just... Since we didn't go to them all at one time, we kind of... Yeah. moved on but they were really beautiful well she's gonna look really good on my daisy board that's she, almost full so she is um, oh i forgot about that one yeah i did too so we have the perfect amount um so this next one i had been eyeing on ebay also a parks pin that is not online and the people on ebay y'all were charging way too much if you heard that apollo our middle child kitty is in jungle mode and that doesn't happen very often he's going a little crazy right now he's acting like he's in a live pin sale getting in fighter <laughs> and this was one of those fight or flight ones that i went oh my god i didn't know they had that one and it's disney afternoon look at that it's darkwing duckwing duck oh my gosh you guys i Darkwing Duck as a child, this and DuckTales were my go-to, especially when they had Disney on ABC and not just on the Disney Channel because I grew up in a place where we didn't even have cable because it was so rural. Like we couldn't even get Disney. We had to go to my aunt's house to watch anything on Nickelodeon or Disney. And so Darkwing and just the whole Disney afternoon being on ABC Family and like, or not ABC Family, the Saturday morning family entertainment, but Saturday morning cartoons. Can we talk about that? Leave us a comment. Did you watch Saturday morning cartoons? Did you watch one Saturday morning on ABC? It was, ABC had the best Saturday morning cartoon. One Saturday morning. <laughs> All right, I am so stoked about this pin. This is from a uh, blind box pin set, a lounge fly blind box pin set that was released long before we started collecting. And it is one that I dug up and posted not that long ago on our Instagram asking anyone if they had connections to any from these to reach out to me. Um, I've gotten a couple of them. I still need several more. I especially want the, it, it's Sleeping Beauty. Um, there are several Maleficent ones in it that I'm not, I don't have to have, but I need all of the Prince Philip, Aurora, and Fairy pins. This was top of my list. I think my favorite pin in the whole set. So I'm so excited I was able to buy it from them. Here we have Princess Aurora and Philip. They are glittery. They, um, the crown is up top. I just love the glitter detail. I think now I have all of the glittery pins from the set. There's three of them, I think. Maybe two. Are you trying to complete that set? I... Um, there are several Maleficent ones in it that I'm not... I don't have to have, but I need all of the Prince Philip or Laura and very pins. This is the final purchase of the evening. The other one that we have that Ryan is going to show is a trade. We'll talk about that one in a second because it's also a computer. Um, so this one was definitely a um, impulse buy in a good way. I have taken to hunky Buzz Lightyear um, from Lightyear. And yeah, the movie was fine. 
and I don't like the twist at the end. No spoilers here, yeah. but I really enjoyed a lot of portions of it. It's the aesthetic, I think, for you. It is. It's the aesthetic. The Tomorrowland aesthetic. The, it is. It truly is. It's the colors, but this one is from, it's another man's trash, is another man's treasure pin, sorry, Pete and Allie, from their Disney Studio Store Hollywood um, grab bag. I had to get this badge. Here we have Buzz in his um, work outfit, not space outfit, from Star Command. And it really is the blacks and pinks and teals, like the purplish pink teal. I know that I went back and forth between magenta and fuchsia with another color in our last video. I would say more purple-ish, maybe fuchsia, magenta, I don't know. I I'm not, I wasn't an art major, I was a theater major. But it's, it is pin on pin, it's really cool, and an LE I'm sure of three or five hundred, but I mean I've already taken the pin backs off, let's find out. Um, it is, uh, 400. I was wrong in between those two. So thank you, Pete and Allie, for one, hosting that sale. You guys are amazing. And if you don't already know Pete and Allie, one, check out their channel. Two, check out their small shop on Etsy, um, Pixie Dust Apothecary. They sell candles. They sell stationery. They sell car infusers, all with the most amazing scents. And plus, you can get them. 15% off of every single order. Yeah. Every single order if you use our code. Bride15. R-Y-D-E-1-5. Oh. Ride or die, baby. Type that in and you'll get 15% off of every order. Every order. And your house will smell good. And, oh my gosh, your house will smell good. One day we're going to show a picture on Instagram of our collection of Pixie Dust Bobby Karen candles. It's going to not be a picture. It's going to have to be several pictures. Several pictures. A video scrolling across. All right, we have one more pin um, that was in this box. This is a completer of a set that I am so excited to complete. Um, Pete and Allie got the pink Alamo mystery bag. In their mystery bag, they got some of the carousel horse, or one of the carousel horse blind boxes. Um, and they happened to get the very last carousel horse that we needed to complete the set. And we had one that they really wanted as well. So this so worked out just swimmingly. We sent them a Dr. Facilier. And we got... We got Cinderella here. She's so beautiful. So this is the completer for this set. We now have all 16 of the horses this yeah, is princesses and villains yeah this one was one we never intended to even collect we got one you've probably heard the story and then it just kept going yeah um this i'm astounded the insane thing insane thing to me is that these are all le 300 and we just completed these are gonna have to get their this own pin board. They are gonna get their own pin board. Ah! Yeah. So here we have the gorgeous carousel horses. Up top we've got Ursula, Ariel. Um, I was about to say, let me come around here and I can also- Facilier, We've got Tiana. Tiana. We've got the, um, evil queen. the Evil Queen. No White. No White. Maleficent. I'll Aurora. let you say, I was about to say, I'll let you Arcaea say- Aurora. Um, we've got Gaston and Belle, your girl Belle. We've got Mother Gothel and Rapunzel, my boy Jafar and Jasmine, and we've got Lady Tremaine and beautiful Cinderella. Um, they're so beautiful. I really, really, really love these pins. This is hands down one of my favorite sets that has ever been done. So thank you, Pink Alamode, for making this set. Thank you for allowing me to collect all of them. Um, this, it's so many that I never, I actually was like, I'm not going to try. Never going to try. Much, and I'll just be stressed out. But it actually wasn't that stressful. And it was so sad. It was fun too. And a lot of these y'all are trades. Mm -hmm. That's the best part of it. Yeah, that's actually the best part of all of this is that um, we kind of jumped into all this. Pin collecting seemed scary because unless you know people to trade with, you're gonna end up with a lot of blind boxes that 
yeah. are things you didn't want. And then it's like you're throwing money at the wall for nothing. Um, this community with pin trading has changed the game completely for us because now we feel completely confident paying for these blind box pins, knowing that, that we can we'll trade find them someone out. to trade with eventually, even if it takes a while. This next one was a surprise to myself. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and my phone's like, hey, look at this real quick. And there happened to be an eBay seller, and I apologize for not knowing their um, name right now, but we will link them down below because this one is worth the is worth a look. Um, as you know, I have been working on collecting the um, All Star cards. I'm going to let you hold this for just a second. There are several of them, and a lot of them are going for 15 to 20 on um ebay which is i believe probably about their original price probably 12.99 15.99 this seller had four of them for 9.99 and allowed combining of shipping which is always a big thing for me i like to save a penny or two if i can in this box um and i pre unbubble wrap some stuff each of these has a, um, they're each individually wrapped up as well with labels on them so that we know what they are. I got four of them in one fell swoop, each at $9.99. So let's open these up and see who we got. Well, you saw who the first one was from that label. We've got Mushu. And he is the karate card. And of course, all of these are pin on pin. The character is what is the pin on pin. And they also have their signature on each of them. So I've got him to add to our collection. I'm going to take this one. And I think this one is probably one that you should open. All right. So next up. We have this adorable Pinocchio playing billiards. Um... I think there's a missed opportunity here, and he should be using his nose as the pool stick, but... Um, Did he do that in the movie? I don't know. I feel like he should have. He should have. Um, it's. I really like the blue glitter on these. Yeah, that is kind of what drew me in was when I got the first one, which was Scrooge McDuck. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Scrooge McDuck is one of my absolute favorite characters as Uncle Scrooge. DuckTales Uncle Scrooge. Um, so the blue glitter, when it came in and I saw his, just the, the gorgeousness of his pin, I was like, I think I might need the rest of these. Now, this is a set that I don't know that I would venture into trying to get more for my other collections because they are hard to come by. Um, I want to save this one for last. So I'm actually going to let you open two in a row. Here you go. Show that one off. Ooh. And he's a fun character. We've Gonzo here being a daredevil. Um, that's really cute. Just the idea of this pin is really cute. Right? Being shot out of that cannon. Um, and I mean the great Gonzo. The great the Gonzo. Great. Um, he's so cute. I do love, and there, I love that they're all signature too. Like that, it's like trading cards. Like you want to have your, your card, yours signed by someone. Did Casey, oh! Casey Jones is the only one that didn't sign his. Wow, what a jerk. Is that a mistake? I'm gonna have to look into that. Did a tiny bit of research in a half a second. Um, all of Casey Jones's cards have no signatures. His is the only one without a signature. I wonder if all of the other ones are signatures like you can get in the park and there's just not a signature because you can get it i don't know that's so weird all right this last one y'all i have wanted him so long and he would have been my second purchase but he took a while to come by and that is and i've already taken him off his backer card hercules this is teenage hercules playing discus and of course this is that sad sad moment where he knocks over the entire town's pillars and makes everyone upset at him again. But the other four, so we said that there's Stitch Surfing, Robin Hood Archery, Ryan, tell us who is cheerleading. Kim Possible. Kim Possible! That is like the weirdest one to me, but I can't wait to have her. So exciting. And Goofy, you guessed it, fishing. What because what else does he do? 
But y'all, thank you so much for watching today. If you happen to be curious about our other content, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Or off with your head. Or let's just play croquet. No, off with your head. Also, if you enjoyed today's content, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It helps us out. Yeah, leave us a comment down below. Let us know which of these pins that we opened up today was your favorite, which made you most excited. And if that was, a, I was about to tell you, the question's coming to me and I don't know that I can answer it. Um, I love Hercules Discus mm -hmm. very, very much. Mm -hmm. um, the finale of my Strange World is also just the completion of that makes me excited. Uh, my favorite individual pin today is definitely the um, Crest Aurora and Phil Dancing. But in terms of like the one I'm I think excited I know. about today, it's that Cinderella horse for completion. And that set. Y'all, today, how many sets did we complete? Two or three? We did, oh, we completed Strange World. We completed the, uh, dresses. the dresses and we completed the horses. This is a triple completion. Ba -ba 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 and you know what, with that, I'm gonna say we're having a golden afternoon. Yeah. So we hope that you all do too. Bye guys. Bye y'all. See you later. If you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation.